So among the many people who are scheduled to appear at the American Century Championship uh, is one Aaron Rodgers, who the country got to see he and uh, Bryson DeChambeau take out Tom Brady and Phil Mickelson right. in the match, which uh, was fun, but it made news for all the obvious reasons, mainly Tom Brady and even with some help from Rob Gronkowski trolling Aaron Rodgers. But Aaron Rodgers, who's due here, I think he's in route. I think he's going to. I think he's playing tomorrow. I think he's in route to this event. He's here every right. year. He's in route to this event. If we're lucky, we can get him to stop by and just talk to us, us about a, break some news, life. Maybe instead of we'll see, maybe he actually tells us whether he's showing up to camp. But yesterday he was asked about showing up to Packers training camp at the match. I think he was riding a golf course at the time, and here's what he said. Packers Bears, any idea who's going to be there? Anybody who's going to be quarterbacking in the number 12 jersey? Yeah, I don't know, B.A., let's see. How let's about see, won't we? How about September 12th then? How will you go for that one? What's that one? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the, the opener against the Saints. Oh. All cheesers resort, rejoice. Yeah, I don't know, B.A., we'll see. Okay. I know you're a Milwaukee guy. I know. Aaron, everybody is on their toes. They want to know, man. They want to know. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm just having a good time out here with Tom. I'm trying to talk to him about it. If he's going to keep playing or not, you know? Hey, hey, Aaron, we go way back. You can just tell me. I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I promise I will not put it anywhere. Charles, I'll tell you this week in Tahoe. Right? Oh. And you can... You can. Uh... Yeah, Barkley's coming uh, out this here. Too. Way, yeah, Barkley will be here too. So they asked specifically about the opener. Yeah. Uh, training camps are on the corner, but specifically about the opener, uh, just for accuracy's sake. And, and yeah, that's what you expected him to say. I mean, he, in, in that environment, at this point in time, he wasn't going to say, "Yeah, you know what, guys? I'm really glad you I'm asked that sure. question. I've been waiting to Mike, tell you." I don't know what I expected him to say. I, that, that's not what I expected him to say. I, you know what? Aaron Rodgers is a master. He is he is a media guy, even though he's not officially a media guy. He knows how to exactly how to say something that can be sliced, can be interpreted in multiple ways. He just speaks that way. He speaks in a way where you say something, he says something, and you can say, oh, we'll see. Oh, that's trouble. Or we'll see. At least there's hope. He talked about how he needed to take some space earlier. You could say he needed to take some space, and that means that he'll need more space and he won't be there for the season. Or it could mean he's had his space and he'll be returning to the Packers. You really don't know anything based on his comments. He plays it that way, so we we have these speculative ses sessions about what he means. Uh, well, okay, from a media standpoint, I think you're giving him a little too much credit. Why? In this, in this instance. I, I just, I thought that was just, look, guys, I'm not here to talk about that. It was, it was so casual, so informal. He's out there playing golf, having a good time, kicking it. They, the guys on the telecast did the best they could to not make it too awkward, right. but they knew they couldn't go an entire broadcast without asking him about the elephant in the room. Yeah. And his response was just, yeah, we'll see. Like, you know what? I, I'm, not, I'm not really trying to answer that right now. You know, like, put it this way. We said, look, if we're lucky, he'll spend some time. I, I've told the story a million times about way back when, when I got Aaron Rodgers in the party. I got pictures with Aaron Rodgers. I think you need to I bring that up. I guarantee you. I got you into that party. Speaking of Charles Barkley, I guarantee you that tomorrow – Aaron Rodgers ain't gonna know me. <laughs> he, he, he ain't trying to tell. He ain't trying to because he knows what the question that has to be asked. Okay, but, so I don't think that he was strategic in yesterday's answer. I think that was his polite way of being dismissive. Okay, he but just ain't you, trying to answer the question. But you said we're giving him. I'm giving him too much credit from a media sense. We're kind of. I think you're ignoring the obvious, too. All right. If you are, if I talk to you, I'm, I'm going to exaggerate to make this point. If I ask you about your kids at this tournament, you ain't going to say, well, hey, man, I'm just at this tournament, you know. Yeah. I ain't trying to talk about Because I want to talk about my I, kids I, all I the try, time. Because that's, what you, that's part of who you yeah. are. You are a dad. Yeah. If I ask you about brother from another, you're going to talk about it. That's what you do. We're asking him at this tournament. There's no question about the Packers that gets in the way of this goal. I'm just having a good time out here with Tom and, fi and find out how long he's going to play. 
Good. It sounds like you kind of read that, into it. Then. That's got nothing to so, do. Okay, okay. So, that's got nothing to so, do with what okay. I asked. So you. let's so let's read into it then. He said nothing, but that doesn't stop us from speculating. Right. So it sounds like if I'm if I'm parsing your words yep, properly, yep, yep. that because he couldn't come out and say, "I'll see you at training camp," or "Yeah, I'll be out there," because he didn't answer definitively, or right. because he didn't say. I don't know who it's going to be. It ain't going to be me. My name Paul. That's between y'all. My name Bennett. I ain't in it. Because he didn't say that, does that lead you to believe that he won't yes. show up? Yes. So that's okay. right. Because I think I think it's still the same. I okay. think he's still in the same position he was before when he came out and talked about, uh, you know, he did it's his about the people. He, he did his, he did his best. Uh, uh, Fred Hampton. You know, if, where there's power, where there's people, there's power. Okay. So we know that. We know that that he's all about the people and the power, and that's what it really was all about. But he hasn't changed his stance since then. That nothing has happened since that point where he said, okay, I'm still the quarterback of the Packers. I'm a little disappointed by how things have gone down, but I'll be there. He still Wait, hasn't said it. He doesn't have to say it. Why doesn't he have to say it? It's just, July. Especially on a golf training cart. Camp. It's training camp. Match. Match. Okay. So, so that's, this is exactly so that, the time so that's to say we, it. So that's what we disagree. That's what we this disagree. is exactly the time but to say it. But that's what we disagree. Football season. So – I don't know that Aaron Rodgers knows what he's going to do. I haven't spoken to Aaron Rodgers. I have no inside information. We will. We'll talk to him tomorrow. We'll get inside information tomorrow. I'm feeling. I'm but spelling can I, myself but can, I, but can I say? Can I say that I would be surprised if he were a no-show at training camp? Can I say I would be surprised? Yeah, t say it and tell me why. Because football players play football. And as much as he may have enjoyed disconnecting and spending time with his fiance. And, you know, playing golf with Tom Brady and Bryson DeChambeau and, and Phil Mickelson and, 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 and addressing his mental health, which I appreciate him, you know, uh, sharing that. Yeah. I would be shocked if given the level at which he's able to play, and presumably he still loves to play, I would be shocked if when it came time to play, he didn't show up. And it's not as though... It's more awkward now than it's going to be when he shows up. I guarantee you, if he shows up, it's a one-day story. If he shows up, and, you, and this master media manipulator that you claim he is. Yes, he is. All he has to do is show up and say, I'm here for my teammates. I'm here, for, I'm here to, to represent Green Bay. I'm here to finish what we've started. We've been so close the last couple of years. I love this game. I have, you know, there's a finite, a finite amount of opportunity to seize a moment to win a championship. I'm here to win a championship. I'm playing with the guys in the locker room. End of conversation. That's it. It's over. It's over. The the unknown, the possibility of the thing is why it's still a story. Okay. He can show up in training camp and it's and it's over. And I fully expect him to do that. I fully expect him to show up and act like nothing happened. Because right. you know he's great at that. Yeah. He's act like it was blown out of proportion. Like the meat. Like he. Ne I never said I didn't. I wanted Brian Gutekunst fired. I never said I didn't want to be a Packer anymore. The media take things and run with it. I'm here to play right. football because that's what I do, and I'm happy to be a member of the Packers, and we all go about our business. That's how I expect this story to play out because Tom Brady, he said it jokingly in that Jeopardy game, but it was accurate. He's frustrated, frustrated with his bosses and has no options. Who is Aaron Rodgers? Okay, listen. We, we focused on the media part of it. How about the Packers part of it? Do you think the Packers know what he's going to do? No. And, okay, so the Packers don't know what he's going to do, and that's a little bit of a problem, right? You still don't think that's a problem? Because I know I, I'm no, just, I'm just keep, I'm going to keep checking to see if you change, <laughs> if change. Your, if you change your answer. Because <laughs> no. I asked you last no. month, or probably it was May. No. May or June, I said, right, do you have a problem? It was, it was right after the draft. Right. It was in the draft. And that's when he, you know, the, the story started to come out. He wanted to be traded. And then he's not, in OT, he's not at OTAs. Here we are in July 7th. So most training camps start in three weeks. Yep. Two to three, two and a half to three weeks. Yep. Most training camps. Yep. And if the Green Bay Packers don't know what this guy is doing in the first week of July, I think that's crazy. But they do know. They do know. If the quarterback is not, if you haven't heard from your quarterback on July 7th, I'm telling you. He's probably not going to be there. You know, one of my favorite phrases is you make exceptional, you make exceptions for exceptional people. Yep. Steph Curry is somewhere out here right now. Yes. I don't give a damn what I'm saying or what you're saying. If Steph Curry walked up here right now. Right. We, we, we're talking to Steph Curry. Yes, we are. Subject I agree. change. I don't care if it's July 7th, August 7th, or September 7th. The moment Aaron Rodgers walks in the door. Two different conversations. No, it is. It is. That's two different I'm, just, I'm just bringing it full circle. I'm just right. connecting where we are. It's a little TV, TV tool. That's all. Yeah. 
I'm saying that it was kind of a tease wrapped no, in a point. I agree. Aaron I agree Rodgers with you. doesn't have. It doesn't matter. I agree if, with that. If, they, if they've heard from him or not, the moment if and when he shows up, it's all good. It, that's all I'm saying. It doesn't matter. It's all good. He can okay. show up unannounced. Certain people you want to call before you come. Hey, give yeah. me a heads up before you come by the house. Or, or, you don't know what we're doing. Some people just Check drop in. by. Just some drop people by. drop. He got a key and the alarm code. All come right. in whenever you're ready to come in. All right. Can can we can we uh, can we take the people? Because just because we go on the road doesn't mean we're going to change our practices. So we always just kind of open up the curtain. We try to tear down the curtain. We tear down the curtain, uh, the fourth wall, whatever you want to call it. Before the show started. And we were talking about all the great people, and you mentioned some of them. Charles Barkley, uh, Aaron Rodgers, Steph Curry, Seth Curry. I don't make no promises. Uh, this, this yeah, guest list here. Guess list incredible. All right, Jerry Rice, just like you know, on and on. Some some great names out here. Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Travis Mahomes, Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. It's our wish list. So all these Alex folks. Smith, the Currys. All these folks out here, and we were looking at the guests. Tony Romo, yep. You said to me, well, it's kind of tough to plan it when you don't know who's coming. Yeah. So I'm, we just got to be ready for anything, right. but it's tough to plan it. We you don't know what's coming. Year, yeah. If you're Matt Lafleur, and you got a back-to-back -back 13 and threes to start your coaching career, pretty impressive start to your coaching career. Hello, Mike Holmgren didn't do that. He won. You know, yeah. hey, Vince Lombardi didn't do that at the start of his career. Really, 26 and six to start your career? That's amazing. Yeah. And you still don't know who your quarterback is? I'm so glad you That's said that. That's hard. But I'm so glad That's you said That's impossible. That. But you know what it is? It's the job. I'm so glad you dumbed their situation down to our situation. Yeah. When that red light comes on, it don't matter. Nobody at home cares whether we're prepared or not. Nobody at home cares about, you know, what we've had to do to, to get this show on the air. They, they yeah. just, hey, just hey, show up and perform. Show up, yeah, let's go. Let's so, do it. Get the job done. So how many coaches have gone into training camp thinking somebody's going to be their quarterback or their running back or their wide receiver or their anything only for, you know, God forbid, somebody to take a false step, and then they're hurt. Court, football, have, that's football-related. No, but, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying from a coach's standpoint, yeah. your job is to deal with the unknown and to wait for it, coach the guys who are there. So I, I, I guarantee you Matt LaFleur ain't staying up at night wondering if Aaron Rodgers is showing up. If Aaron Rodgers shows up, great, we'll adjust. That's what they get paid to do, to adjust. And it's not a hard adjustment to adjust to the greatest quarterback in team history, if not of all time. Showing up because guess what? It ain't like there's a competition. Ain't no controversy. This ain't 2005. This ain't this ain't Mike McCarthy saying no. We've moved on and we don't want Brett Favre back. This is now Aaron Rodgers' team. The moment Rodgers shows up, they're not gonna say, "Hey, well, you know, we kind of moved on to Jordan Love." That's why I told him to get over it a long time ago. Hey, thanks for watching, brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave, and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.